So this video is anybody that's going overseas, getting stationed overseas, can re-enlist to go overseas. If you want to know anything about Germany, then make sure you keep on watching. Welcome to my life as I live it. I'm Army Princess, the mother, wife, and soldier. And I want to share this journey with you. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss a moment of it. Hey everybody, it's Army Princess here and welcome back to my channel. I am a U.S. Army soldier and I've been in the military for over 10 years now and I love to share my experiences with y'all. So, I decided to do a little bit of a story time today and tell y'all about my time in Germany. So, I was stationed in Germany from 2010. 2010 to 2012 so for two years I was stationed in Germany I was married I did not have my baby at the time and so I lived in house and I didn't live in the barracks I have lived in a barracks and if you want me to tell you about barracks life then make sure you leave a comment below and thumbs up this channel and I know you want to see that video but Germany actually was the first time I lived in on-base housing. So, we were stationed in Wiesbaden, Germany. It's about, I guess, like 30 to 45 minutes from Frankfurt. And Germany is fun. Japan was funner, but Germany was fun as well. So, in Germany, they have lots and lots of festivals. If you are going to Germany, if you are stationed in Germany, you better make sure you partake in the festivals. When I say they have wine fest, they have, not snow fest, they have Christmas markets, they have summer festivals and summer markets, they have all these little bazaars and oh my God, like the food is so good in Germany. They have schnitzel, they have donut kebabs, they have these little curly little french fries that is just like the best thing ever. They have bratwurst, which I don't eat. They have the Dutch, which is this off the chain pretzel place. Not Dutch, the ditch. I think it's called ditch, ditch. Um, the food is very, very good in Germany. The weather is not so good. So if you're going there and you're expecting a four seasons like like the states you probably gonna get like two seasons it's like cold and like summer for like a month and then back to the cold there's literally really no summer there that's the depressing thing it's kind of cloudy all the time lots and lots of snow very cold in the winter time what else can i tell y'all travel 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 so if you go overseas anywhere you go overseas Please, please, please make sure you travel. Like, you have no business being in the same place for two to three years and not traveling. We went to Paris like three times while we were in Germany. We went to Amsterdam for New Year's off the chain. We went to, I went to Berlin for a Drake concert. I went to, where else did we go? We went to London for New Year, one year. That was off the chain. We went to on a Mediterranean, uh, a Mediterranean cruise. So we left out of Italy. Oh my God, Italian spaghetti is so good. So we left out of Italy. We went to Croatia. We went to Turkey. We went to Greece. That trip was the bomb.com. Um, so make sure you travel, and it's cheap, 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 cheap. We went to Ibiza, Spain, Florence. Pizza, because we did the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Like, it is ridiculous the amount of traveling you can do over there. It makes no sense for people to not travel. They have this airline called Ryanair. It's literally like the southwest of Europe. So you can get flights for like 29 euro. Like, ridiculously cheap. So you definitely got to travel. Partying is off the chain in Europe. But I will say that... You have to watch, you have to watch who you partying with over there because Europe is like a melting pot of all kind of foreign people. 
So people get in fights with Turkish people over there. They get in fights with the European people over there. You don't want to cross the European police. Like y'all think it's a game. They will take out their sticks and swat you with them. So please don't be over there like you want to be the Incredible Hulk, Mr. Tough Guy, and try to fight everybody in the club because you will get your feelings hurt real, real quick. But partying is off the chain over there. But I will say that the music is like, like 2000s. Like the music is old school. They will mix in a little current music, but over there, like we was in the club listening to like Fresh Prince. <laughs> when we went to Paris, it was like, like 90s music so you have to take into account that they have a lot of what's called house music over there so i guess that's like techno um but club man was fun oh yeah we went to prague too in czech republic so we we did a lot of traveling over there um what else can i tell y'all it depends on your unit as far as your work life over there I was in a small little clinic, seven to four, we were closed on weekends, closed on holidays, so I was living a dream. My unit, I had so much fun with my unit. Like my unit, we were like family. When I say we would go to people's house for Thanksgiving, we would all go bowling. And that's the difference between living overseas. If you're stationed overseas in the military, if you have a chance to be stationed overseas, definitely go. Being stationed overseas and being stationed stateside is not the same when you're overseas you like family you bond you get to know people you hang out with people because you don't really speak the language so you stick to people who you know and when you're in the states when you get off work everybody scatter and go wherever they want because they can you know what i mean you can go to outback you can go downtown you can go to the mall you can go to the movies over there you can do those things but you're gonna go as a group because you don't really speak the language and you want to talk to people that you can talk to so everybody kind of hangs out together so definitely, definitely, definitely my advice is if you have the opportunity to re-enlist for an overseas tour or if you get assigned overseas, take it up, go over there, explore the world, see different things, make use of your time while you're over there and just go live your life. Like I see so many times that people be like, well, I'm scared to go or I want to be stationed close to home. You join the military. You didn't join to stay at home. Go out and live your life and make a life and see different things and be a better person. That is my advice to you all. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I had as far as being stationed overseas. It was awesome. And I would, if somebody told me today that I had to get on a plane next week and go back overseas, I would in a heartbeat. I had that much fun. So, yeah, I had that much fun. Um, but that's it guys. I just wanted to tell you about my experience being stationed in Germany. I was also stationed in Japan and I was also stationed in the DMV area in Maryland. So let me know if you want me to talk about those places or if you want me to talk about being stationed here in Georgia. I will. Um, but that's it. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.